Hi friends, it's Pastor Harley from the Broadway Global Methodist Church. I hope you're planning to be in church today uh, and reaching out, getting closer to God, hearing his word, singing his praises, all the good things that we do together. Uh, I'm going to be reading today in church from 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 11, 12, and 13, which say, Now may our God and Father himself and our Lord Jesus direct our way to you, and may the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another, and for all as we do for you, so that he may establish your hearts blameless in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his saints. And so think about what God, what St. Paul is praying for the church, is, is telling the church, this, this you want to strive after. This is God's heart for you. This is my heart and my prayer to God for you. And think about a phrase like this, make you increase and abound in love for one another and for all. Well, in so many ways, it is all about love. I can know a lot, but if people don't feel that I care, they don't care what I know. Uh, I can begin many activities. I can do things that we would, we would call good or influential or pointing in the right direction, but if I do them without a loving spirit, well, the false, falsity of it all will, will eventually come across. I can be right where I should be, staying out of the wrong places, um, being supportive to the people who, who I'm responsible to, but this can be done without love. May we abound in love. Not only the love that the Thessalonian church has, they, they were not criticized by Paul. He did not say, you're such an unloving church or anything like that. They had the love of God. He just said, you know, this is what God has given you. Ask for more. Ask for more of his heart, which abounds in love for you people who are together there that he addresses and for all. May that be the blessing God sends to us. Amen.